So you watched our Dragon Dice review, and now you are all on board the fantasy bone rolling train, but you don't know where to start? Well, fortunately for you, on the Cardboard Herald, we are doing little racial profiles of each of the races in Dragon Dice, starting with goblins! And here are a few things that you need to know about these diminutive little death dealers before diving down down into Goblin Town. First off, there are goblins and there are goblins. These are the real deal. These are a bunch of traitors who joined up with the elves and dwarves to form the Eldorum race. These are awesome. These are garbage. Well, at least for today's goblinatic purposes. Gobbos have access to gold and black magic, meaning they're good at burying the dead, reviving their own dead, and messing with maneuvers through the epic combo of path and transmute rock to mud. Combine this with a racial ability to count double maneuvers on swampland terrains, and you have yourselves the tools to create a super hardy maneuvering machine. But maneuvers are not enough. This is Dragon Dice, after all, and you must conduct battle. And while the goblins do have all the tools at their disposal in order to construct any number of armies, I prefer to let goblins do as goblins do, aka wreck face in a havoc of swords and shields. My favorite goblin strategy involves a heavy focus on melee and maneuvers, a strategy that is perfectly summarized when the three-point cavalry unit Leopard Rider with his rad steed. This guy, or girl, doesn't care about magic. He doesn't care about finesse. No, he cares about moving really fast and breaking necks, with two faces having rends, which count as either maneuvers or melee, and you get to reroll to see if you do more damage. An army of these bad boys will do way more than take down 15 birds in five fur trees. Throw in some assorted light and heavy melee units for some added protective goodness, including their wonderful counterattack and smite SAIs, and you are in business. One of the best units in all of Dragon Dice, often jockeyed for positions in less goblicized armies, is the Troll, certainly the best monster at the Goblin King's disposal, with a hearty helping of various melee abilities, along with the insanely powerful Regenerate special action icon, this Troll is going to be swinging with the best of them during melee attacks, but also playing Battlefield Nurse, reviving and protecting your units, ensuring that your goblin army is hardy, healthy, and full of ghoulish undead goblins who are joining back into the fray. There's a reason why the troll is every army's best friend. Okay. So you're just starting your army and you don't have access to the highly coveted troll. My recommendation is to build up the biggest, baddest, hand-to-hand -hand combatants known to dice, secure a terrain in the melee side and get it to its eighth face, then lob a couple dragons using magic at your opponents. Now you can use your wits and cunning to choose either to divide and conquer with some serious melee face wrecking or snatch the victory by employing the aforementioned magical combination, transmuting the opponent's rocks to mud and pathing units directly to other their locations vying for a maneuver victory. Whether it's the awesome iconography, just look at this freaking guy. The sturdiness, the renewability, the outright trickery of golden black magic, or just the flat out old school cool factor of being one of the four OG races in all of Dragon Dice, goblins are undoubtedly one of the coolest and scrappiest factions in the entire game. All right, everyone, thank you so much for watching us gab about gobos. Next up, we're going to do a racial profile of either the flexibly ferocious ferals or the undoubtedly cool matchup of might and magic in the undead. Let us know which one you want to see next. And by the way, while you're at it, go ahead and do all the social media stuff. Like, subscribe, share. All of that really helps and lets us know that you want more Dragon Dice coverage. So once again, thank you for watching. I've been Jack for the Cardboard Herald, and you keep on rolling. That's going to be a mess.